Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This is a, another video in the KiCad series uh, on Contextual Electronics. And this video is going to be about back annotating. So this is part of Module 4 in the KiCad series where we were talking about connecting the schematic and the layout together. Well, once you've done that, you have something called a layout or a component file, C, not .cmp. And what that allows you to do is not only it allows you to push stuff forwards in terms of uh, you know showing your association between your component here and then your footprint which you want to use as your footprint it also allows you to push that back into the other the rest of your circuit basically uh, in, in your schematic and there's lots of reasons you might want to do this it's nice because then you can have a an easy view from the schematic of which footprint you're actually using and uh, that can also then influence you know if you wanted to do a check against what part number you're using, everything like that. So let's actually look at that real quick. Uh, this is the Getting the Blinky project, if that wasn't obvious. This is the one we've actually been using as part of the examples in the KiCad series. And so hopefully it's, it's familiar to you. Let's pull up the schematic here. Very simple schematic. Uh, but you can see if we mouse over and we hit the E button here, oh, if we mouse over hit the E button, we can see that uh, nothing's really showing here in terms of uh, the footprint value, which is what we're really looking for here. We do have some other values that we did add in as generic uh, fields here, because if we wanted to have manufacturer name, part number, distributor part name and number, that kind of thing, um, we might want to put that in here. But none of this is in here yet. And, and the easy one to start with is a footprint, because we've already made that association. So what we do is we go into the Edit menu, we go to Import Selection, and then we see the .cmp file. Open that up. Do we want to force visibility? We'll say yes in this case, but I'd usually say no. Then do you want to make all the fields visible? There we go. Now we can see, now the lineup isn't always great here because it, uh, it's a little hidden on some of these, right? We can kind of move it over. Oh, it's got me locked on there. There we go. Uh, oop footprint move field there we go all right so we can move it around but it's uh, it's a little hard to do there and so we have all of the footprints now in a visible manner it's easier to see this also allows us to go back in, in here and we can actually see the footprint here so now when we want to go and annotate each part for a part of manufacturer part number if we want to do that comparison we can make sure that we are using the SO8 or SOIC8 part number so that we don't get burned on that at a later date. And that can, because that can be a very big deal. We want to make sure that we have the exact manufacturer part number in order to see that. If we want to see this in a more comprehensive way. We can actually go, well, we can see it all you know, on the schematic here, but then we can also go into the BOM or BOM, and then we can pull out some of these uh, similar fields, and then we can actually look at it in a spreadsheet or a CS, you know, CSV or a text format and everything like that. So let's just do the default here. We'll add, add some of these fields in because these are the custom fields we added in. Hit OK. Uh, we'll do list and we'll see if it opens up for us here. It did open up as uh, the dot LST is uh, uh, associated on my computer with LibreOffice, but you might have Excel or uh, I'm not sure what the Mac programs are, but uh, there's, a, there's a wide variety of them. Or you could just pull it in and say, uh, you know, a text doc if you really wanted to. So I'm going to do, uh, let's see, standard. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's already delineated properly. So we just do OK on the import. Let me pull this over here. A little bit slow on the import here. But then we can see many of these values. And now this is uh, pulled in a couple times there. Uh, so we have values up here. Uh, we have actually that does not look right. So the import was wrong. Let's try that one more time. Let's try BOM. And let's change the format here by ref instead of by list. And then we change it to a, a, a semicolon separated. That'll make it a little easier on the import here. That does make it a CSV. There we go. That looks a little cleaner. 
There we go. Simple schematic, but we can't see this in, a, in any uh, BOM fashion now. We actually do have the footprint here and some of the other fields. Uh, it didn't seem to pull those in properly, but uh, we do see all of this stuff here. All right, so we have successfully pulled all of our footprint information back in. We could go and also uh, manually change this in here if we wanted to. And we could change this manually if we go down to field value. If you do know your footprint names and the ones that match up, you could do that manually. Don't necessarily suggest it, but it is a possibility if you've been doing this for a while and you can start to do the associations like that. Uh, so uh, that's how you back annotate. And thanks for watching.